Hello, hello. So last week we looked at a story about Moses and we learned that God doesn't want us to struggle with things on our own, but it's designed us to work together. But you know, if there was ever a person who could do everything by himself, it was Jesus. Because Jesus was the son of God. He could do anything. I mean, literally anything. When Jesus and his friends were on a boat and a massive storm blew over and they thought they were going to sink, Jesus just stood up and said, be quiet, wind, calm down, waves. And they did. When Jesus went to a party and the wine ran out, which was a big problem at a big party, Jesus just turned a load of water into wine. Bam! And when the mum of one of Jesus' friends was sick, he just reached out and said, be healed. And she was. Jesus could do literally anything. So Jesus probably didn't really need anyone's help. He didn't need to work in a team of people. But you know what? It turns out Jesus is really into teams and he still wanted one. So soon after he started talking to people about God, Jesus went off on his own and spent a whole night praying. And the next morning, he came back to all the people following him and said, these are the people that I want on my special team. Have you ever played football? or netball, or some other sport where they pick teams, and they have everyone stand against the wall, and then two captains take it in turns, and they're like, I'll have Harry, because he's a really fast runner. I'll have Alice, because she can throw a ball really far. Well, I was always the person that was picked last. I'll have Lizzie, because there's no one else left. It always felt like there were some people that everyone wanted on their team and some of us that nobody wanted on their team. But you know what? I reckon people would have been surprised at the team that Jesus picked, because he didn't seem to pick the people that most people would have chosen. There was Andrew and Peter. Peter, he was always saying daft things that get him into trouble. But Jesus chose him. There was James and John. They were called Sons of Thunder because they had really bad thundery tempers and wanted to zap anyone that didn't agree with them. But Jesus chose them. There was Simon, who wanted to start a war against the Romans. There was Thomas, who didn't believe Jesus had come back from the dead, even when he was told about it by all his friends. There was Matthew, he was a tax collector, which meant he was almost certainly stealing money from his own people. And then there was Judas, where well, he was the one that eventually betrayed Jesus. What a group! The thing with Jesus' team is that you and I, we'd have probably picked them all last. But Jesus picked them first. Because Jesus saw things in them that no one else could see. This little group of people told thousands of people about Jesus. They healed people. They helped people. They started churches. They stood up bravely against bullying rulers. They quite literally changed the world. Every single one of them had a special part to play in God's plans because God has given every person special things they can do. And you know the really exciting part? Jesus still has a team. It's just a bigger team than it used to be. And he invites every one of you to be a part of it. Because he is still changing the world. And he still likes to work with people like you and me rather than doing it all by himself. So you are invited to be a part of Jesus' crew and to join in with what he's doing here on earth. And nobody is left out. Nobody is picked up last because he has given you special things you can do and a part to play. And I think that is pretty exciting.